Hi everyone, this is Dr. C, and this is the Home Ribbon 1 in Microsoft Word, Writing a Letter. We're going to look at the, the left-hand side of the Home Ribbon, so we're going to look at the Cut, Copy, Paste commands, the Font and Font Size commands, the Style, and then the Left, Center, and Justify. And you see them depicted here on screen. Well, let's cut to a letter, right? So here we are on the left hand side and you'll notice we're on the home ribbon and a ribbon is a set of commands that appear when you click any of these titles up above the commands. So this is the home ribbon and for me to copy I need to highlight some text. I can copy it, right? And if I drop my cursor and bring it down I could then paste it by clicking the paste command. Now I didn't want to do that, so I need to undo and look right above. The undo command is that left arrow. Okay. Now what if I wanted to change his name to Fido? It's not Rover, it's now Fido, right? Well, maybe I want to use Fido up front at the top of the letter, and I also want to use it in the signature at the end of the letter. So I'm going to copy Fido, right? Scroll down. And then I'm going to highlight his name, Rover, and paste Fido over it. Okay, So that's what Cut, Copy, and Paste does, is it allows us to change the content quickly. All right. Well, what if we want a different font? Right now we're using Times New Roman. So I'm going to select everything, and I can do it with a Control key and an A key for, control, for Select All, or I can drop my cursor in front of the F, scroll to the bottom of my letter, hold down the shift key, and click right after the O in Fido, and it's all selected. That's an easy way to do it if you're using a touchpad or a, a tablet or something that doesn't have an easy right click. Okay. Now that I have it all selected, I want to change fonts. I'm in Times New Roman. What if I wanted to go to a form of calligraphy, maybe like a letter, right? So we'll say Lucida Calligraphy is our, we have a very stylish dog, right? <laughs> and of course he's writing to his new family saying, I need a new home, quick, come get me, right? Okay, what if we didn't want the date on the right hand side? Next we look at justification. So we have right justify, but we could make it left justify, see there? Or we could put it in the center. We could also take his information, his address, and we could center it also, right? So if you wanted the sender's information to look like letterhead, you could center it. You could write justify the date, and you notice I don't have to select all of it. I just have to drop my cursor somewhere on the line. Let's see, what else do we want to change? Well, right now we are in calligraphy. What if Fido wanted his name in bold or his whole address in bold. We could select it. We could come over here and select the style called bold. And you'll notice this is all within the font area on the home ribbon. Okay. Well, now that he has a bold title and he's in Lucida Calligraphy and 12 points fine, we could change the color. I wasn't going to today, but we could. Fido could be red. What if we didn't like that? We come up here to the undo command, which is right above the home ribbon, and we click on that left arrow, and boom, it's back to black. Okay. Well, that's been a quick look at the home ribbon part one and all these various commands. I'm Dr. C, and I'll see you next time for the home ribbon part two. Bye-bye.